look at the Republic of South Africa today, we discover a multiracial society in the process of integrating itself with the world economy. However, not so long ago, this was the country of apartheid. The whites lorded it over the blacks and the browns. The struggle against racial discrimination began well over a century ago. To commemorate the early days of the struggle, the Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh, arrives in Durban in September 2006. Dr. and Mrs. Manmohan Singh are taken by South African officials to catch the same train that Mohandas Gandhi took more than a century ago. At Peter Maritzburg, a white man refused to share the compartment with Gandhi. When Gandhi protested, he was thrown off the train. This episode is commemorated because on that cold night, Gandhi made a crucial decision. He would not go back to India. He would stay on in South Africa. He would suffer, but he would fight for justice. He founded the Natal Indian Congress. He organized the Indian community into a political force based on non-violence and civil disobedience to fight the bill to disenfranchise. On one occasion, Gandhi and his colleagues were brutally attacked by the whites. However, Gandhi exercised self-restraint and even refused to take legal action against them. The British government was impressed and the bill to disenfranchise Indians in South Africa was dropped. This was the first major victory of Gandhi's philosophy of non-violence, Satyagraha. Soon after, he started a farm at Phoenix near Durban. Life here was simple and self-supporting. It was here that Gandhi began to publish a magazine called The Indian Opinion. It is to remember Gandhi's efforts that the Indian Prime Minister and the President of South Africa, Thabo Mbeki, came to Phoenix. I am very grateful to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of South Africa, President Mbeki, for providing me with this unique opportunity to visit this great country with which we share a common heritage. Both our countries derive immense inspirations from the work, life, and the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi. India's freedom struggle is rooted in the value system which Mahatma Gandhi experimented in this great country. And therefore, for me it is a rare spiritual moment to be in this sacred soil of South Africa which transformed Gandhiji into a Mahatma, a great redeemer for all times to come. During the Boer War in 1899 between the Dutch and the British settlers, Gandhi started an ambulance corps to save lives and nurse the injured. During the Zulu Rebellion in 1906, Gandhi revived the ambulance corps which looked after a large number of Africans. After the rebellion was over, people were horrified to find that the Transvaal government had introduced an ordinance compelling all Asians to take out a certificate of registration. Gandhi said, I shall die but not submit to the anti-Asiatic law. Thousands of Indians responded to his call for Satyagraha with a bonfire of certificates. Because of Gandhi's peaceful and non-violent leadership, the government made important concessions. Indian marriages were declared legal and poll tax was abolished. Gandhi's concept of Satyagraha is remembered in a museum in Johannesburg. 
one of the revolutionaries who admired Gandhi was Nelson Mandela. He and his colleagues fought against apartheid and even though Mandela was imprisoned for many years, he eventually succeeded in freeing the people of South Africa from the tyranny of racialism. After receiving India's highest award, the Bharat Ratna, the jewel of India, Mandela recalls. India was the first country to voice the abhorrence of apartheid to the world. We salute you in the name of the African National Congress and the millions of the oppressed fighting people of South Africa. India's link with South Africa in respect of the liberation struggle, that goes back to the days of this great man, Mahatma Gandhi, whose 21 years stay in South Africa are looked upon by us as important years for humanity. With that historic background of our fraternal struggle, we are here to further cement fraternal commitment to continue till victory is achieved. Our victory will be your victory. Indeed, victory for the entire world. I come here today to join you in commemorating the centenary of Satyagraha, the mass movement launched by Mahatma Gandhi in Johannesburg on September 11, 1986. In remembering Satyagraha, we pay homage to the Mahatma. And in honoring the Mahatma, we honor South Africa. It is here in this blessed land that he found the strength, developed the ideas, and forged the tools used to resist racial discrimination here and win independence at home in India. Yeah. 